live. I think we're a few minutes before 10 a.m. here. Let's just make sure that all that's working fine and bell dandy. Uh, yep, that seems okay. Okay, so um, last time I was doing some missions, obviously just sort of drifting around in the Turian space earning cash, which is great, obviously. I mean, it, I, I, playing it on my own, I, I could earn a whole metric shit ton of sea bills and just grind mech parts, you know. But uh, a, a few people have been asking about me doing some uh, Flashpoint gameplay, and at the moment, out of the Flashpoints that are available with the mechs I have, there's really only one Flashpoint that uh, is available to do. It's the one I've done before, but I'll, I'll do it. Um, now, which is the one that introduces the hatchet man. So, we'll go do that. I'll try a slightly different route than I went for with the the first time I played it on my original save game. As uh, that one, uh, I, I took the. Got a new financial report for you. Correct? I think I took the risk. I went with the risky route. Uh, where I just attack, whereas uh, the other option was to have it where um, you could wait for the uh, for the group to move through. I think it was one of, one of those two options. I'm going to pick the other, the opposite end. Um, oh, let's just let it slide for now. Oh, good, Stonehenge is injured. Great. Well, luckily she'll be out in the med bay by the time I get there. Obviously, I'm jumping a really big distance. It's just part of the problem. A lot of jumping. Well, it's uh, still 20 days to travel to Adra. Just jump after jump after jump. I'm gonna have to pay another financial report when I get there <laughs> before I even arrive. Holy shit, I'm gonna hemorrhage in cash to do this flashpoint. Oh my god. Fucking financial reports. Kiss my ass. I have to do some missions out in the out in the uh, basically the deep periphery. Holy shit. It really doesn't look that far on the map, and then, you know, you... You, you know, you start going, so it's like, oh shit. But this is, this is jumping a significant amount of uh, distance across the uh, periphery here. I mean, this is going from Taurus basically over to uh, Marek space. Virtually Marek space here. Ah, uh, here it comes. Here comes the pain. Ready to go Ow. You are. Below a million. Guys, such a prick. I hate Darius. Alright. So we we know we know the background to this one. They're, they're transporting a mech, transporting the the tech, and we we've got the option. Yeah, we won't let that happen. Blah blah blah. Uh, so uh, you have a choice: will you deploy against Sentry Team Alpha, or will you roll the dice you know now? I believe uh, I did the uh, the what if. And for some reason now we're going to available contracts. I don't know why we're going to available contracts. We just fucking are. Uh, yes, I'd like to do. Uh, I'd like to do uh, joint venture. Thank you. Now apparently the the payment is great. It's it's a guaranteed million maximum. 
with, with some, but I'm still going to get 614,000, and apparently my rep with the Lyrans would go up a bit, so, you know, whatevs. Right, uh, so, we'll take the Thunderbolt, which uh, I guess I'll go in. Uh, this is the Thunderbolt that's a little bit different. This is the one with the Flamer and the PPC with a bunch of mediums and SRM6, so it's a bit more close-range brawly. And I've still got my Wolverine with the large laser, and I've still got my fire support with my LRMs, and I've still got Stonehenge and the Dragon. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty pretty decent, well-rounded, I think. For a two-and-a-half school mission, it should be alright. <laughs> Obviously, this first part is an escort mission. Now, originally, when I played this, I was I, I, I think I got thrown against a fucking awesome. Uh, which I don't think I'll be coming up against in this one. I'd be surprised if I did, anyway. But yeah, I need this 600,000. <laughs> I really need this 600,000 seafield. And I, I guess I can just swap out the, um, the Wolverine, I think, uh, in part two, for the, the Hatchy Man. I've always, always called the Hatchy Man. I know it's the Hatchet. Just always said Hatchy Man. Command interface initiated. Right, so we have to link up with the uh, people who need the escorts. Time to get dirty. Because if I remember correctly, the enemies uh, appear over. Uh, how come was it now? They have like a little base somewhere. But I uh, can't 100% remember, so you know what? Moving to position. Sprint into the trees. On my way. Because that's that's the best way to go about it. Stay defensive. And if you can't stay defensive, Roger that. run like hell. Move auto received. Why would I want you to do it that way? Why? Why? That's just that's just a terrible direction to go in. But you're insisting on going this way. You say, ah, I don't want to run through the spores. Moving out. That's a bad idea. I don't want to go through those spores. The spores will mess you up. Basically, they they have like an acidic effect on your uh, max armor. Can cause a lot of damage very quickly. Confirmed. Uh, yeah, let's just Roger. get the whole lance into relatively similar distance to one another. And uh, let's see, I can't quite remember where they go. I'm pretty sure they go that direction though. So move order confirmed. I'll just get the lance all sort of facing the roughly the same. Moving to position. Same direction. Okay, keep the hostiles off us while we get to the rally point. Yeah, oh, sorry. Ugh. Idiot. They go this way. And now we've got two unknown battle max. Look at them spores. Filthy spores. Why? I hate you. Why would you do this? Ensure that all the Steiner units survive, because I think they're carrying parts of a... I, think, I, I don't know if they're supposed to be carrying parts of a hatchet man or not. can't quite remember. Very, 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 very big fucking hope. No, okay. Hoping he might have just been able to get over. Right, that's a 35 ton, that's okay. Just sort of running around in a circle. Standing by. Position confirmed. Get the trebuchet into position for his LRM fire. And brace him because his sensors definitely ain't going to detect any of them. Right, so here's another mech, a 50 tonner. Be funny if that was a, <laughs> that was a hatchet man. No, no uh, a crab. That'd be weird. Like, holy shit, this is a mission that's about all about this man. But it had the crab in it. Which, by the way, I still haven't seen in, in Battletech. I, not in a single random mission have I seen a crab appear yet. 
Not one crab have I seen. Can't move the mouse while the friendlies. Aye aye. Uh, right, apparently. Oh. Yes, Commander. Stupid game. Apparently, she can move there without stepping into the the spores. Okie dokie, we'll just brace there. Ah. Uh, do, do any of you guys have a radar ping that you could use for me? That'd be helpful. You made up APCs, you. Okay. Oh, we got a Lancer Max. How's it going? No, I don't want to move him first. Yes, Commander. I'll move you first. Confirmed. This you can get me a, a Skenser lock. Don't want to know about my STD mask. Oh, I see. I see. You just you're just jealous of my STD. That's what you are. Jealous. Two thirty-five tonnes. That's good. I can do that. Receiving you. Got it. Mess up that Jenna. Hmm. Let's see. Eighty and eighty-five percent. Uh, you know what? We'll just we'll just hit the body. Roger that. Target confirmed. Oh, and now the music kicks it. I was about to say, and the mu uh, also uh, morning master. How are you doing, mate? Enforcer. I see you can only see one thing, but he's got a PPC. And he's got breaching shots, so your guard don't mean nothing. A little bit worried about the uh, APCs driving into the lance of enemy mechs, though. Seems a bit suicidal there, guys, but whatever. I guess you're the experts, huh? Standing by. Moving out. Let's see how you like this. Okay, so this is gonna get dicey in the first round, really. That that APC is gonna die. There's no way any, all these APCs are going to survive this. How that one doesn't have a shot, I don't know. I was say at this point, he can't be that guarded. I've hit two of them though, which means they should focus on me now because I've shot them, whereas the other two will still have AI for uh, attacking the APCs. To be fair, they did. They've done a good amount of damage to uh, to a fifty tonner. Right, this is the other Jenna. Oh no, no, he's gonna step on him. Ow! All right. Good to go. No, I keep clicking Kerberos. I don't mean to click Kerberos. I really don't. I copy. I'm just gonna shoot this Jenna to force it to uh, attack me. Went internal. Hey BFG, how you doing, man? Yes, boss. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna focus the fifty tonner instead. Ooh, got a heat sink. Inflicted some heavy damage. Inflicted some heavy damage. All right, so now it's all their turns. So this is the Jenner I hit before, so he should fire on the Wolverine if I. If I'm guessing correctly here. Yes, he did. Good. And I think it's the other 50 tonner, which I'm guessing is going to be another enforcer. Ow. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> so much damage. But that one quite rightly attacks the other heavy. Ah, good to hear, BFG. Reporting heavy damage. Yeah, to one location, we know. Alright, this is where... Um, so realistically, my, my mech needs to get involved. A thunderbolt, but yeah, Aaron, Aaron's a bit short range on him. So I've got shots of 65 and 60 percent across the board there, or 85 and 65. I'm gonna have to go where, where the good shot is, aren't I? Heat isn't too bad actually. Ah, some good SRM hits, but. APC is doing a runner. <laughs> Cheeky shot. Wait, does she have multi shot? Oh, shit, she's got multi shot. I have PPCs. Yeah, I agree, BFG. They're so scatterbrained. Right, one's. Is it there? It's got to be there to next, hasn't it? Um. Taking the shot. Just gonna stop his AI from focusing me, uh, the APCs now. Mm, not complaining about any extra damage to that enforcer. Yeah, so much whiff, so much. Uh, like the the simultaneously great and annoying at the same time. I don't know how it how it achieves that goal, but it does. Hey, right torso destroyed. Nice. APC drivers don't give no no fucks. Oh, they got him! Holy shit! Oh. Lance of APC is just zipping past that. Oh, it's back. He's walking backwards. Don't want that Wolverine. Systems holding. Uh, this time we will go with Kerberos. Yes, uh, firing first. We're in slightly better range. And I wish I could see who's going next. I'm assuming it's going to be this Jenna next, so. Uh, we're going to precision strike him. Try and hit the leg. Firing all weapons. Right leg, right torso gone. Target's taken a critical hit. Uh, never seen that in the game before. I think it's the second or third time I've seen APCs down something. It is, it is kind of rare though. Orders. Yeah, haha, he was the next. Uh, to act, uh, no, we don't. We don't. We don't want to do that. We don't want to stand still. Uh, we want to at least get him into into cover before he Roger fires. That. Don't want to be making that mistake. All right, let's see if a light taken out. That's a kill. So all they got is a one light and one medium left. Ow. Jesus, I'm gonna put him in cover. Not much armor left in that. Oh, all they ever do is sensor lock. Uh, mine, they rarely do it, so it's it's kind aye of aye. a it's kind of a, a sweet joy to have them suddenly locking things for me. Confirmed. Yeah, usually uh, APCs uh, or, or friendly vehicles in general uh, uh, just do nice things, like shoot them for me. Oof, ammo explosion. How that didn't kill it, I don't know. Target's taking a critical hit. <laughs> All right, Are the APCs counted as ace pilots or something. This didn't move, but he did fire. Getting too close. I'm fine. Don't you worry. Engaging target. There we go. Enemy mech destroyed. 
Right, it's just the enforcer left. I'll take the extra damage. Left also hit there. Let's do this. All right, just LRMs on uh, on the sky. Um, yeah, you know what? I will precision because I'll try and get rid of that sight also. Well, there's only one left now, so I won't worry. I don't think it's a problem there, uh, aye, aye. Master. This guy's just gonna get swarmed now. Gonna go into melee. Nope. Ow. Standing by. Jesus. Yeah, they're squishy, but as you can see, there's only one mech left, so I don't think that's a worry. Oh, by the way, BFG, don't 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 uh don't worry about uh, uh Master here. He was in a Phoenix Hawk and, uh, and ran away from a Scorpion tank last week, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, his input. Do be there, eh? Terrified he was. Engaging target. Well, I think all he's got is a laser left. I think. I think that's all he's got left now. Commander. Oh, he's blunt apparently blundered into it. Yeah, he's got no weapons left. <laughs> So we will go for a melee attack. There we go. Target eliminated. <laughs> You've been peppered by a catapult. If you'd run up to the catapult, what would you prefer to be hit by? F potential five damage every turn or potential thirty damage every turn? I know which one I'd choose out of the out of the two. My way. Move order received. They can, yeah. Scorpions can be bastards. Like in like a lance of them uh, all firing at you. You know, twenty potential twenty damage per turn if they get good hits. But yeah, you know, there was just the one. Exactly. So why why didn't you go over toward that catapult? That was the question. The walk Island troops destroy that convoy. 55, 50, and 50. Okay. So we're probably going to have a um, Shadow Hawk amongst those, I think. There's our uh, pickup. Is there any way for him to get... Hmm. Affirmative. I just want him to be able to sensor lock something for me. This is all. This should just be in range. I guess we'll try and pick on the... the 55 ton? Yeah. Lock. 
Waiting for orders. Heading out. You were hiding from the catapult and it was spotting the scuff. <laughs> oh, excuses, excuses. Uh, I want that side also. Get that AC. Engaging with target. It's so bright. That's a lot of hits. You got hit by every single missile. Oh no, they've got a Trevi. Luckily he fired on one of the APCs that hadn't been hit already. Yes, Commander. Throwing the LRM5. Ah, oh, she missed the AC. Damn. And we've got structure exposed on the, uh, on the, looks like the right torso? Right torso with the arm, I think. I also get the Thunderbolt front and centre, I mean, he's not been touched. My character's just been sort of trolling around at the moment. Uh, there's no point in going over heat for less chance at hitting, so I guess I'll just try the uh, PPC. I could fire an APC at him, that would be a strange thing to fire at an enemy. The, the unexpected, wouldn't it? What the fuck, what the fuck is that shadow? Oh shit! Yeah, there's a fucking armoured vehicle flies at you. New, uh, new Steiner developed APC launcher. The objective is secured, Commander. You're not sure the Scorpion hit you? I, you know what, honestly, I don't remember if it did or not. I think it might have missed you quite a few times. I, it may have hit you with a machine gun once, I think. If I remember correctly. Let's do this. And that was, I think that was all that hit you. Ooh, LRM5 crit, jump jet destroyed. Scored a critical hit. You're not as maneuverable anymore, mate. Ready for orders. Heading out. I'm actually gonna focus on the him on the trebuchet funnily enough, because trebuchets are squishy. Firing on target. See how much armor just burnt off that trebuchet then at close range. Oh, it's two of them. Oh my god. LRM 60. <clears throat> That's definitely worth getting into brawling range then with these trebuchets. Losing lots of armor. No, you know what you are losing with me there? Hey, hey, troubleshoot, you know what you are losing? Respect, that's what you're losing. How did he get three layers of evasion? Huh? that doesn't make sense. Well, we're gonna kill him anyway. We'll try to. Famous last words on that one. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. I mean, at least he's got bulwark. Ow, 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 fuck. Jesus. Tits and ass. Losing armor. Commander? Uh, so, uh, uh, uh. Affirmative. Uh, 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 Um. Okay, let's just run her over there and drop the LRM-10. Just... Engaging target. Not the leg. I don't destroy the leg. Reporting critical hit. I wanna I wanna kill I wanna kill the mech. I wanna knock it out, you know? Stupid. 
All right. Well, next round of combat. Yes, boss. Location confirmed. Let's get him into the trees just in case he becomes an LRM target. Uh. Yeah. Oh, he was the one I hit. Yeah, that's that's Roger the one I want to shoot. Out of long range missiles. Well, it's just as well I moved you a little bit closer for your next shots, then, yep. isn't it? Uh. Roger that. All oh, right, I crit the LRM-15. That's that's fine. A critical hit. Which means that one isn't going to be hitting anywhere near as much. This is the uh, the untouched uh, Trevi. Oh, that's fine. That's a Thunderbolt can take that kind of hit for days. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a rear shot. Then. Ow! ow, ow. Right, exposed structure on that side now. That shot got past my armor. All right. Standing by. Copy that. I don't know how she's doing this with Numa. <laughs> the hell is she going? That was a very wiggly, a, a very wiggly move that uh, ultimately didn't really do much. But target lock. Please kill it. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Another pilot in So he's lost his LRM-5, his SRM-2. <laughs> that's right, so... He's gonna... He's gonna go for a melee attack, isn't he? Oh, and he's lost his... His entire right side is, is not... Oh, my... Ow. <laughs> Roger that. Taking minimal damage. That, you know what? That, that can be the dragon's problem, because... Um, Let's see. It's weird how from there apparently he can't see the trebuchet. Oh, moonwalk into the trees. It's a very good chance of hitting him, but he is pretty much untouched, whereas that guy is. Open on both sides also. So I'm gonna take the risk with that one. Yeah, that paid off. Yeah. Because that LRM is crit. That LRM is now destroyed. And now it's Kerberos and Troubleshooter's uh, attack. So. Firing. There we go. One last time. There's, there's pretty much nothing left of that mech now. There we go. Commander. He is, as they say, in the business. Nattered. Moonwalking back a bit. Um, it's all gonna go internal. Oh shit! They opened up his CT. How? Try and hit everything on the CT. Alpha strike. Uh, is he gonna go for the rear shot? Oh, oh no! What? Okay. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. It was already damaged. I'm taking internal damage. It's just a strange decision. Okay. Uh, that tribute acts next. Okay. Kill him first. Yeah, fuck up fire. Uh, it's just funny. 
Hey, flame on achievement. Commander. Moving to position. I'm sure many people got that achievement a long time ago in their Battletech campaigns. We'll go. Alright, so rolls back around to my turn. Receiving you. Uh, so we'll get a rear shot on this on this tributer using my tributer. Firing on rear arc. Well, all three hit the same spot. It's crits is LRM15. Critical hit, Commander. This is a very good start. You. On it. Roger that. Nice. Enemy down. Okay, so we got everybody. Mission successful. And now we go over to the second mission. Where one of my mechs will be uh, swapped out, so I got. Extra 20% because I destroyed the reinforcements and I saved them, so nearly a million just there. Obviously, there's a couple of internal damages there. I don't know if I get to repair them. Uh, spare Jenna salvage. Oh, we can get a Shadowhawk. And a Jenna. Saw sort of bits and pieces. So we'll sell off the Enforcer, because that's 50 tons for the Shadowhawk, and we'll get rid of the Jenna, which puts me in a nice comfy spot now. Right, so there's the Hatchet Man, and it's swapped the Wolverine. So we'll put that out there, and let's see, do we have LRM first, but do we have... Oh, this has got... Oh, this is the model with two SRM2s, LRM5. Uh, AC5 medium laser. You know what? Yeah, we'll uh, we'll take the newly captured Shadowhawk. Uh, but we're gonna dump. I think we'll put Stonehenge instead of Troubleshooter, to be honest, because she's got Bulwark. They've all got Bulwark, so it'll be a little bit tanky. So we've still got a Thunderbolt, LRM5 support, no decent medium, and the Hatchet Man with uh, their pilot Matchstick. defense. Defend the fortified mech bay. So House Lau's occupation force is moving on our mech bay in force. I know that you've had no time to refit or repair your mechs, but I'm going to need your assistance. In light of this, I've authorized the deployment of a Steiner asset, the very rare and precious battle mech that you just delivered to the site to assist, with one of my own mech warriors to pilot it. Command interface initiated. See, it says he was called Matchstick, but now he's called Siegfried. Right, so it's saying that the mech bay is... Uh, I remember enemies come from this side as well during the mission, but I guess for now. Heading out. And I'm gonna actually I'm gonna want my Thunderbolt closer. Not in the Nine Inch Nails kind of way. The one with less armor than a Jenna, yeah. And all its ammo I think is in its CT. Oh, there they are. 35 and 35. On my way. Apparently, whatever way I run, it's just going to go into the rough terrain, so whatever. 
They're not going to take enough damage to knock them on their ass anyway, so that's fine. It'd be great if you showed yourself. Oh, that's so nice of you. Let's do this. I know you become evasive, but... Copy that. You know, for a 45% chance of both of them hitting, quite a few of those missiles did actually make contact with the panther. Aye, aye. Uh... Move order confirmed. Move her down there a bit so she gets some evasion. Well, the mediums actually have quite a low chance to hit us to the SRMs. Okay, well, let's fire the two that higher chance. Okay. 55 squanner tonner. Commander? Commander? On my way. It's the same guy as the voice of I'm your Spaniel. Well, it's only too medium, you don't have to worry about ammo. Yay, we destroyed that completely pointless uh, section of a panther. The you shield section. Good? Oh yeah, you got something good. Yeah, you got the, the side torso that has nothing, and the arm that does nothing. So, I mean, fucking congrats on that one, man. You're a hero. I like the paint scheme on that um, hatchet, man, though. do 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 Ooh, Wolverine 6R. That's nasty. Engaging target. Ooh, dead panther. Enemy mech destroyed. Next. Second panther. Good to go. Second panther with uh, less evasion. Engaging target. Um, Awaiting orders. Get her into a firing position so she can drop everything onto the target. You mean you mean SRM, SRM? Let's see how you like this. Oh Jesus! Her aim with SRMs is terrible. Sorry, with uh, AC5s. Oh, Griffin. A one S as well. Good to go. Position confirmed. I do like. Ah, oh, that is a cool, cool skin. I love the fact it's got the metallic gold on it as well. That's really sweet. Here it comes. <laughs> With. <laughs> Where'd the AC10 go? <laughs> it just zoomed off that like between both far. of them. <laughs> so bad. Ah. Uh. Yeah, give him everything. I'm picking up a new sensor. Oh yeah, here they come. Looks like enemy reinforcements. They're all just gonna go for the base anyway, except for the ones I shoot, so this guy's gonna SRM me. And the other two will just keep attacking the base anyway, so it's not really that big a deal. Yes, boss. Actually, his oh, uh, oh Christ, Wolverine, Shadowhawk, Trebuchet, Vindicator. <laughs> I don't know if I want to leave him up there now. Actually, um, oh wow. You know what? Just just move down the hill a bit. There's a lance of Max over there, and they're looking a bit. Look at a bit stabby and killy, and uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know if I want to knock out the uh, the panther first, or 
Oh my, look at look at all the red chevrons for that one. Hmm. I suppose I should probably knock out the panther. Save the LRM, so. Hope we can salvage that. I know they haven't got a lot of armor. That's the upside. Is, is these enemy me these enemy mechs are not fully armored. However, you know they they're doing shit like that. Standing by. They're, they're attacking from the buildings. Copy that. Affirmative. I mean, at least she hit with the uh, AC5 this time. Oh, rip building. One of our structures has been eliminated. Ah, yeah, thanks, thanks for that. Ready for orders. Darius, man of the bleed novius. Well, he's a hatchet man. He may as well hatchy that man. Let's do this. I chopped his leg off. Solid connection on that one. Uh, now we've got all of them moving. Or at least. So they should be moving. Oh, here we go. I don't know what they'd be doing. Fucking hell. I'm gonna have to get the uh, thunderbolt up there. They've got a lock on me. Okay. No, apparently, apparently now they want to mess with the tributary. Yeah, the time I wish this is a version that had jump jets. to try and salvage this shot here. Engaging target. They so said they obviously can't take a lot of damage. How's it going? Because they're all uh, basically a bunch of reserve max. Roger. You know what? Trebuchet's probably. Oh man, only 30%. Trebuchet. Fantastic fucking chances not to be hit there. Uh, wow. My best firing chances on the shadow. Target, locked in. Hey, pins for fate. They're just chewing through these buildings. Receiving you. Hmm. Uh. Oh, of course. There's some. There's a mech down there. Yes, commander. Why wouldn't there be? Everything I've got. Okay, got jumped yet. Target's taking a critical hit. That's a podcast. Sorry, Vince. <laughs> I don't actually think I'll complete this one. Oh shit, there's more mechs coming. Um Yeah, I I don't think I'm gonna do this. I mean, barring some incredibly lucky shots from my guys. 
And six more turns. There goes another building, they got three. I don't know how many more I've got. As, as sort of... But there's a, like another two mechs down there. Ow. And the damage on the buildings is ridiculous. Holy crap. Like basically, I need more mechs. You know, granted, granted they're all weak and stuff, but... Yeah, I, I just physically need, I, I need like assault mechs to be able to spread fire. I mean, at least they've pissed off that shadow hook, so he's gonna fire at me. But I need to now knock out these, these mechs up here. The two mechs down there, because this one's getting up now, so he's gonna attack the hatchet man, which is kind of the, the reason I moved it there. You know, the Shadowhawk's, like, pissed off the Griffin, and now I've got these two trying to hold off uh, a Lance over here. There's another Lance coming up. Waiting for orders. No, uh, uh, So the one bit of cover he could run into will not actually cover him. Roger that. Uh, so I've damaged the Trebuchet, I've damaged the Shadowhawk. You know, I've got to, I've got to keep picking a target. I still just try and focus down the shadow hook. And didn't even kill him. Got a side torso, which is hunky dory and everything. Ow! 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 Unless the hatchet man can split fire. Hey there. Uh, no, he doesn't have multi-target. Moving out. Got his left torso. Take that. Doesn't really mean much. Now the Griffin is going to be pissed off at her. Minimal damage on that hit. Commander. Um. I think that. Oh no, that should count as rear arc. On the move. I mean, Stonehenge has got the probably the best chance of killing something at the moment. Confirmed. But I had to say it, so that didn't kill him. Just badly mauled him. And now we've got another round of three enemy mechs moving up. Who've all got missile locks? If they've got missiles, so they can still fire on the buildings. We've still got five more turns. Hooray! Yep, yep, a, a 50 tonner. That's firing all of its LRMs. Oh god. Oh, I don't even get a reprieve. I don't even get one of my mechs to have a go first. Ow. Reporting heavy damage. Yeah, alright. Yeah, we, we know your problem. Trying to fix it. That last building must remain. <laughs> it's not. That last building ain't remaining. It's going. Ow. Yeah, sorry, small military building, but you ain't gonna survive the next turn. 
There's just no way. I just physically, I just, I don't have enough mechs. My internals are taking a beat. Enemy reinforcements like turn up round two, and then I'm I'm supposed to kill a lance, and then another lance, and then another lance. Hey, holy shit! Um. All right. Bravo gets the PPC. Alpha gets the triple mediums, and Charlie gets the SRM. I guess. Engaging multiple targets. And yeah, they still got another Let's mech. Go. Receiving you. Move order received. Eight percent chance to hit the trebuchet. Uh, same on that. Obviously, Vindicate is virtually untouched, but. Locked on. It's not just that though, uh, Mass, it's like multi-targeting will help, but, you know, I can't multi-target the three who are down there. And they're gonna see the buildings to shoot them anyway. That hit something important! Standing by. Uh, no, I don't want you, I don't want you to melee. Um, jump. Actually, jump. Um, Firing, jump in. Jump there, so his back isn't exposed. Wow. <laughs> Well, that was that was evasive in action there. Commander. Lifting off. Yeah, I know I know how the how the game type works, Master. It's just as as BFG just said, I would get ground down by the 12 mechs. If I had assault mechs like I did when I first did this, yeah, it would probably work. But I don't, so yeah, I, I'm in tough tits as a vill at the moment. I think this is going to be the shot that ends it if this thing's got line of sight in the building. Yeah. There we go. That's the end of that. Failed. Yeah, that's part of the problem with um, use your special attack rocket. <laughs> that's the problem with Battletech sometimes, is it it's not very well balanced at all. Sometimes it'll just throw shitloads of units at you. And I know the argument sometimes as well, oh, a contract can go bad and you can get this at the other, but on Flashpoint missions, clearly the, the intent is that you're supposed to be able to complete them without having to withdraw. A standard a standard contract, yeah, you can go, wow, this is this is too dangerous, so I'm gonna have to back out. But as you can see from that, that was That was pretty OP. That I would have needed assault mechs to do that. Or a lot of uh pretty high end heavies, like 70, 75 tonners. Still, there is an upside to it all. Uh, I did still, out of the first operation, get a pretty decent amount of uh, cash. I've just got to replace it. Uh, heat sink that got destroyed. We 
which isn't too bad. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. So that's that one. Uh, that's that one. Obviously, the other ones are even further out of uh, out of my wheelhouse of being able to complete. Because uh, that one's four odd, and that one's uh, sorry, three and a half. They're both three and a half. You, you need much heavier max. Like how it says flashpoint available, it's because of the system I've clicked on. Uh, I don't know, does the store have anything of uh, value here? No, no mech parts, not surprising though, it's a periphery backwater. 359 days left of this campaign before my final score is totted up as well. Uh, where can we go? I mean, this place does actually have uh, two and a half school missions, but then I'd have to, I'd have to wait. See what the contracts are. That one's just for the locals. Oh, target acquisition, which I know is a tough one, so I'm not going to do that. And there's a mopping up battle, which is we've got a very high uh, pay, which would suggest that uh, it's going to be particularly nasty enemies anyway. So I think what I'll do is just jump across to the next system, or at least a system that's got. Maybe th uh, three? That seems to be the highest one I can do at the moment. By your command. Get all those mechs repaired as well. I'm gonna head over to the uh, Oregon uh, directorate as well now, and well, not the directorate, the res restoration. And uh, see if I can buy any other mech parts. <laughs> Maybe just slowly make my way back to Taurus as well and uh, grab parts as I go. See if I can build up any uh, bigger, better mechs. Obviously an assault mech would be nice. I'll also have to uh, buy the mech bay expansion, I think, uh, after I do this next contract. Oh, gain a plus plus medium laser. That's not too bad. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. Let's see if there's anything here. The answer to that is no. Okay, so uh oh. About I check Darius's favourite pastime annoying me about pilots that need skills. Yes, Commander. Yeah, you see, look at this, look at this. Mech warrior training. Increases max sprint Awaiting distance. Uh, extra health or... Direct fire policy. Training complete. Waiting for orders. Trouble scooter. Good to go. Okay, All right, that's fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, where am I on ship upgrades at the moment? Uh, mech bay 1, repaired power cut. 900,000. That's a lot, though. Yeah, 600,000. 900,000. Plus one morale for the, the lobby. I mean, yeah, I can afford it. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. There'll be contracts here. We can have a look at and see what we can get. Let's connect to Comstar Merknap. Which will later be taken over by the filthy, 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 filthy. Oh, did I say filthy? Filthy, filthy. Fucking. Wolf Stragoons. Amelia Cortez of the Magistrati of Canopus. Uh, it doesn't. It's, I just get more maximum service, no point. Uh, let's see. Trouble Scooter. Uh, put her back in her dragon and put him back in the Wolverine, I think. Uh, yeah. 
This should be fine. Hey, we're going for a battle in the jungle. It's a rumble in the jungle. While not as famous as other murkiness, the Grave Walkers were a tip that vanished too quick before you could read it. Obviously, uh, this is also running on the new uh, patch version of uh, Battletech, which uh, had the localization, which I know for many people was a much requested feature, and they did finally get around to doing it, which is very nice of them. Uh, so I think this is version 1.04 now. Didn't add any like, like you know balancing or anything like that. I guess. That's going to be the problem with, with Battletech is unfortunately because of the huge gaps between the the extra content. Once you've kind of consumed everything that Flashpoint's got and played uh, Pokemon and unlocked all of them, it's not really a lot to do until the next DLC, really, is there? Watch for vines. We don't want to get tripped up. Coordinates received. Oh, oh, don't want to run through them. Picked up a blip. 55 ton in a vehicle, okay. Affirmative. Receiving you. Let's see if I can get Trouble Scooter a little bit quick, uh, closer so he can sensor lock one of these guys for me. Uh, more sensor lock, the 55 ton mech. I've got a sensor lock. Which is a griffin. Waiting for orders. Uh, well, well, doesn't have to move really, does he? That's a 40 ton mech. Standing by. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hit the griffin. Affirmative. The unknown fourth unit is moving at the moment. Hey, Average Joe. Olden for first thought. <laughs> oh, I bet you're glad he's back. Be, I think you... Uh, one of one of few. One of your few, Average Joe. Aye, aye. Right, the 40 tonner, so uh, he's, he's getting in close. On the move. Uh, we'll try and keep it out of sight for now. Use a little bit of cover. Roger that. Soften him up a bit with LRM fire. You know, the usual. Assume, assume he'll actually move next. No? Okay. Uh, let's move him into the trees. This PPC will give him uh, reaching shot. He loves good villains. <laughs> he is dead. Well, he is that. He is a villain. No denying that. Commander, what's up, boss? Moving back down to the trees for when that other mech gets, uh, the 40 ton mech gets closer. And just require a lock on the Griffin. Sensors locked on. Yes, Commander. Ooh, just let it rain. Sun 55. I guess he'll move first. I mean, he should do. Yeah, there we go. Smart move, smart move. Oh, okay, well, you took two steps. <laughs> Became guarded and entrenched. Oh, the cicada. You don't, you don't want to run around that corner. Oof. I mean, the, li the little guy. He has so much to live for.
<laughs> it's raining looms. No, Griffin was mentioned, so uh, Peter Stewie. Ah ha ha! Standing by. Do we fire that, or do we take the shots? No, oh, no, we'll 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 split fire at the moment, which I know I know infuriates some people. Oh, look at that! Go to LRM ammo. Scored a critical hit. And now we'll move her around to the other side. After doing a lot of damage to that Griffin. because he's giving line of sight for them. That's not nice. It's not nice at all. Targeting for an alpha strike. Oh no, his MG was crit. I think I hit something good. Receiving you. Slight rotation. Only 50% chance to hit. I'm Roger. surprised, but okay. It was enough. Hey, Adam Grayson. Who's who's mad at you? Heads up, Commander. Oh shit, they got, got reinforcements. Oh wow, that's that's some sense a lot range. The hell? Oh, forty-five tonner. Uh oh. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, Adam, uh, no one's annoyed at you. I think I think if anyone who might might have been annoyed at you would have been Uncle Totty. Because you uh you killed me in our duel. Oh. Commander, of I'm course. Hit. A head hot. A headshot. Always a headshot. Commander. What would your average uh your average contract be in Battletech if it wasn't your pilots getting headshot every three seconds, eh? Moving out. Engaging target. That's gonna hurt. Oh yes, the vehicle's turning. On Discord? No, I wasn't. I made that. That that was a joke when I was talking about all the stuff that was posted. But Varak is the one who's in charge of the um, treasure pile, and he was the one who deleted the stuff. So yeah, that that wasn't me, uh, you know. Engaging target. I mean, to be fair though, for the treasure pile, it isn't really a location to post pornography. The treasure pile's just for stuff to uh, for people to post, like you know, trigger-worthy material. Good to go. out. He did, yeah, he did. Well, the, like, Adam Grayson just posted up a ton of, um, a ton of pornography, basically. Um, in the treasure pile, and, uh, Varak was like, that's, this isn't the place for, this isn't the place for this kind of material, so he, he just decided, uh, it was gonna go. So, um, uh, yeah, I gave him, I gave him permissions to, uh, to delete, uh, stuff in the treasure pile if he wanted. I mean, to be fair, it, it, it was it was quite the collection of uh, cow milking porn and f footers, you know. It, there was there was a lot. Ah, Varak becoming approved in his older days. I think you know what. It, it, I think it's just that he's 
He's more proud of his creation and he didn't want it. He, he wanted it to remain to remain that way. It's not like the treasure pile isn't full of highly offensive material anyway. That is really weird to see. Okay, there's a 60 tonner in their ranks over there. This, uh, this just got a bit, uh, a bit dicey. Ow. How many missiles does that fucking Shadowhawk have? See, I don't really want to get mm, ridiculously close to that. However, I do also want to be able to damage the tank, because the Manticore is pretty threatening. There we go. Enemy unit destroyed. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about all that smut, uh, uh, Master. Yeah, it's, it's long since been deleted by uh, Varak. But no, Adam, no, one, no one's annoyed with you about it, don't, don't Awaiting orders. worry about that. I don't think that uh, that was ever the case, to be Copy honest. That. It's just not really the location to post it, is all. I'm uh, basically going to start uh, shifting everyone around to the left while firing at the nearest target, forcing the enemy to uh, continually come closer. Oh wow, I should tell them to focus on the right torso again. Uh, left torso, sorry. And he'll pull off the legs and the arms and everything else. Because that always seems to happen. That's a hit. Oh, oh, man flu! The most deadly average, Joe. Good to go. Many a, many a tough hombre has been downed by the man flu. No woman will ever understand just how just how dif just how brutal it is to suffer man flu. I always love it when they get hit by LRMs. It looks like they're dancing on the spot, like jigging back and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just it just looks really weird. Ow. I really did stop picking on my Thunderbolt. Okay, lots of jump jets being used. Oh, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Maybe 10%. <laughs> hey, what? If you, if you post something there, Vrak, the High Lord of Degenerates, as, as his title uh, is now, he probably will just delete it. Yeah, I, I can only I can only go by the rules of the High Lord of Degenerates, like poop porn. No, I, I really I really don't. No, even I I don't want to see I don't want to see scat. I want scat in the fucking Discord. I'll put that in there. Hey, I thought it was my turn. Oh, no. Well, it wasn't going to be anything else at 60 tons. It's always a quick draw when the enemy turn up. Ow! I, oh, so the version was shitloads of medium lasers. Warning. Armor breached. Yeah. Internal damage. Yeah, we, we know. Which which uh, side did they actually breach? Oh, his leg. Okay. Yes, Commander. That makes sense. Oh, no, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm, I'm, getting, a bit of a, I'm getting a bit of a thought. No, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Had him out perved him. <laughs> Affirmative. I, I th this this needs to be a discussion that that with Varak is is available Target to to hit. talk back. You know, I think. And 
and he runs through the spores. Receiving you. Well, that makes zero sense, but okay. Alright, let's try and multi target on this. That and that. Alpha can have the large laser. And apparently Bravo can yeah, Bravo can eat the mediums. Hoping the large laser will kill it. Well, I got his left torso. There we go, that got him because the pilot was incapacitated. How's it going? Oh, it's going great, you know, we're just getting wailed on by uh like a fucking like Anyhow, what's on the menu for tomorrow's stream? Uh, at the moment, it's looking like it's uh, Space Engineers, uh, Average Joe. Roger that. I will give a little bit of a warning. Um, th this is this is mostly like going to be Goober and Frunica's show. Uh, we, we have like an overarching plan of what we want to achieve by the end, because we want to do... Space Engineers, then MechWare Online, Space Engineers, MechWare Online, Space Engineers, Mechware. until we finish the, the, what our build project is. I just, I'm just a bit worried, I'm not sure how entertaining it's going to be. Hopefully, it will be, uh, funny. Uh, or at least there'll be funny moments in there. Um, if it sucks, it sucks, and, you know, not much I can do about it, you know, it's just, people just have to let me know if they enjoyed it or not. Oh, 95% 95, 95 chance to hit with that PPC, by the way. 95%. 5% chance, apparently, uh, triggered. Standing by. So what, it fucking triggered me. Okay, got the right right source. Blew up all of his SRM ammo, which on tabletop that would that quick draw's fucked. I mean, all of his all of his ammo just exploded. I mean, the, the, that would have transferred into the CT. <clears throat> the idiot just run through a spore cloud. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm trying to remember now. What did the spore clouds do again? They're not good. I remember that much. Let's do this. What does it, what does it say? Oh, God, no, I can't. I can't find out what the spore clouds do. Because reason's only known to man. I think Varax okay with poop porn. Well, then you know him better than I do, Adam Grayson. I, I'm I'm unaware of this this newly discovered poop fetish, but. Locking in all weapon systems. I'll have to ask him tomorrow. I have to say, Varax, I've been informed. I've been informed by Adam Grayson that you're a uh, that you're a uh, somewhat somewhat of a connoisseur of the uh, of the shit porn. Um, is is this true? And if not, so, uh, yeah, spore clouds do spawn orcs. That is true. Yeah. When it came up to the tricky proposition of how do we explain how orcs reproduce? Uh, they're a fungus. Haha. <laughs> That's it. That's what they are. They don't rape and pillage or anything like that. Or keep or keep sex slaves to breed from. No, they they they're uh, some kind of um, mycozoid thing. It's. Ow. Oh, good, a Kintaro. My, my favourite thing to get wailed on by LRMs with. Jesus Christ. Oh! Ow! 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 Fuck! Jesus fucking... Alright. Can we just... Oh, Jesus, fucking vindicate now. Ow. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander! I mean, maybe he's okay with it. Well, uh, well, now, now you're changing the story, aye, aye. right? I, either he is or he isn't. You know, let's 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 get some, let's get a clear picture here. Move order confirmed. And by that I mean don't post one. But what what does? I I don't know. You're the you're the one bringing up this like what Varak is and isn't into and the whole. You know, pornography thing. Confirmed. 
It's such a strange conversation. But then what else what else should I expect, really? Why have you got such shit chances to hit? Is it the spore clouds? This is eighty five percent chance to hit with the PPC. Yeah. Uh, you know what, I'll take my chance just shooting the Kintara. Yeah, but everything's just got, like, incredibly wank chances to hit. Copy that. And I I'd love to know why. Alright, uh, I forget where all the juicy bits are in a Kintara, but that side's also took some damage, so we're going to focus that. And by that I mean he missed with the large laser so much that it actually went through the Standing by. <laughs> It went through the fucking Wolverine. On my way. No BFG, I will I shall not retreat. Not yet, anyway. Firing on target. I am out of long range missiles. Might have to retreat soon. Be a man, run away. <laughs> oh, but it's it's only three mediums. I'm sure I can do it. Why has he been not back to phase two? I don't understand. Oh yeah, there you go. Spore Cloud, the unit move for a Spore Cloud, they stick to it and interfere with targeting, plus four difficulty to hit this turn. That's what they do. It slows units, uh, they suffer additional 20% damage when hit due to the corrosive effect of the spores. Ah, oh, for God's sake! It's, it's, his, it's his best punch, and he missed with it. The PPC every time. Ow, 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 shit. Oh god, no fucking head hit. Everyone's everyone's gonna be in the in the fucking med bay for a month. Alright, yeah, of course, because you know, she can't see shit if she goes just over there. And she's gonna moonwalk her ass over there. No, that's that's the wrong mech. That's the wrong mech. I want him. Roger that. Well, shit. Uh, you know, alright, alright, we'll withdraw. Retreat. Good god. That was, uh, that was, again, another mission where there was just a lot of reinforcements causing trouble. Ow. It's just as well, she had 15 left on that arm, 21 there. So Wow, yeah, that was a lot of damage. I uh, got some salvage though. Oh, quick draw salvage. I may as well take that. I actually completed the main objective, which was to get rid of that lance. Reinforcements, they're just extras, right? So realistically, I did achieve. I did achieve what the contract asked of me. I got rid of the lance that was bothering them. But of course, in this game, in this the, in this world about it, it doesn't work that way. Right. It's okay though. There's no shop here, but apparently there's people buying. Does that make sense? Um, like for instance, do we need 12 AC AC5s? I would I would argue no. I don't need 12 AC5s. Do I need 11 flamers? No. You know what? At best, I probably just need two. Uh, 11 large lasers. Just what? Just sitting around. Doing what? We can sell. We can sell like eight of them. We still got three spare. 
It's good. 20 LRM5s. Well, let's face it, that I ain't got a mech that's going to carry that many. Oh, hey, bro, thank you. It's brought in a bro. You know, do we need do we need quite that many LRM10s spare? No. No, we don't. This is the problem. Do we need 22 medium lasers? No. No, we don't. We can we can probably sell 15 of them. Another 90 grand. 17 small lasers. What for the one mech I'm currently using that's got them? It's got one. I only need a couple spare then, don't I? 13 SRM2s? No, we can sell 10 of them. Boom, 20k. 12 SRM4s? Again, we can sell like half of them. 36,000. 59 single heat sinks? We don't need 59 single heat sinks. We can sell like 30 of them. Boom, nearly 100k. And this, this, these backwater scroungers, they'll, they'll get, they'll take whatever they can get. Bunch of, bunch of mech jocks turn up with damaged mechs, you know, they're going to be like, yeah, well, we'll, we'll take that shit off your hands. Look at this. Repairs sorted. Varangian start of action. Troubleshooters out for 14 days. That's going to happen in 20 days. Host turns out for 18 days. Financial report. The, the, the best part of playing Battletech, the bit where you get all your money stolen. Uh, by Darius. That's happening soon. So, that's that's fun. Uh, let's see. What other contracts are available? Oh, there's a Lost Supplies one. Oh, good. Ca convoy ambush. Well, I'm glad I didn't, uh, I didn't want to go take that mission. I can take a long walk off a short pier. That, that apparently, this planet's got battlefield. That planet is also battlefield. It's just moons and shit. Uh... Papaya or Paya? 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 I don't fucking know. <coughs> that place. Abandoned, low gravity, primitive civilization. Well, that's where we're gonna go. By, your command. By the way, how to match my Vulture Prime yesterday? 1400 damage and 7 kills, and you still lost! What were your team doing? Man, is your back okay, average Joe? Holy crap. Wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Must be aching. Yeah, Darius is working for the IRS, he must be. Thieving piece of shit. Yeah, so you cannot carry hard enough. Seven seven kills and fourteen hundred damage. That's um that's above and beyond Call of Duty uh, uh, for your team there, and you still lost. That's shocking. What was it? What match type was it? Is it uh, was it ca uh, conquest or assault? I assume it was one with an objective match, and that's why, you know, that's the reason you lost it. it wasn't because you lost the fight. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. And if it was, Jesus Christ, what were the rest of your uh, your teammates doing? Oh, it was assault. Welcome to an MWO. <laughs> Yeah, it's the inland revenue for us, yeah. Well, this place has a shop. Uh, I mean, it, I guess, uh, yeah, we're being generous when we call it a shop. We actually call it a ship box. Um, that's just got a few bits and pieces lying around. I love the way it, <laughs> I love the way it like, just sort of twitches around looking at things. Uh, apparently, they're tracking an extremely heavy mech with pirate heraldry. Right. That's that's what the that's what they're detecting an extremely heavy mech with uh, pirate heraldry. You know what? I'm gonna cheer myself up. I'm gonna do a mission that's apparently easy. I say apparently because it probably fucking won't be. No, oh, but the old stretch it. Oh, just waking up. Well, I tell you what. Over here, the weather when I got up was friggin' awful. It was all over the shop. It was extremely windy, shitload of rain, and now, now it looks like a normal day. That's only been a couple of hours. I mean, I'm not saying it's anything like the polar vortex uh, folks in North America have been going through, but oh, you're on a match on polar, and uh, they ran one by one into the football. <laughs> oh God. 
Uh, BFG, I had a good, I had a good match in uh, Wolf Thunder yesterday. I didn't kill much, but I uh, healed up to eight of the enemy um, team for most of the match. It was a lot of fun. Oh, nice. Sweep the area and clean them out. Okay, here we go. Coordinates received. On my way. Location confirmed. Okay, everyone, just run through this narrow pass. I like how the Wolverine's got jump jet. Um, uh, a jump jet on its back, despite the fact that this is a variant of the Wolverine that doesn't have jump jets. Hello, a little exhaust nozzle there. Or maneuvering thruster. On it. Moving to position. On my way. Yeah, Joe, what what was GF? The best kill on record in Wolfson is 25 planes in one match. Holy crap. That's uh, that's pretty dang good. I, I saw a match yesterday where a guy had 16 and I thought he was hacking. So 25? You, you must be the biggest cheat in Wolf Thunder average here. It's the only, it's the only reasonable uh, explanation for it. I, I can't think of any other reason. Confirmed. 20 tonner, 20 tonner, 30 tonner. I mean, at least it is actually a scout lance. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of afraid. On my way. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. <sighs> I've been. Oh. Reinforcements already. Uh, the fight hasn't even started. In the reinforcements, so surely you call in reinforcements when the when the fight starts to turn against you. Orders. Or did I miss that bit? Did I miss that memo? Oh well. Got a lock. This will just pick a target. Yes, Commander. On the move. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I always cheat. Just ask my ex-girlfriend <laughs> if you can find him in the forest six feet under. I got dark quick. On target. Well, that is one well built locust that just took 30 missiles and just shrugged it off like, yeah, what? What have you got? Is this it? Bitch, I'm a locust. I got, I got medium laser and two machine guns. Systems holding. It should do. It's one medium laser troubleshooter. Systems holding. Fuck's sake. Uh, I'm not great at air battles. I, pl I play a lot of arcade battles uh, for the air stuff because, realistic, I don't like the fact that you only get one plane. And, you know, if you're unlucky and you get hit, that's it. Yeah. GG. Barely hit, Commander. Um, so I, I like the the arcade air battles, I've been playing the Japanese ones trying to do the weekly decal challenges, uh, one of them is get 50 kills in rank 2 Japanese planes, thing is I didn't have any rank 2 Japanese planes, I've had, I've had to grind all of the tier 1 planes. So uh, do I get a turn uh, this game, is it, or is this just where everything fires on a thunderbolt now? Oh good, uh, it says 30 tonner, 35 tonner, uh, 20 tonner, 30 tonner, 20, 20 tonner, great. Ah, brilliant. Oh, and uh, 35 tonner up there, of course. Being attacked by 8 mechs. Alright, they're all light, so it's like being light rushed, but... Yeah, it's beside the point. Oh, fuck it, try it. Okay, got his left also. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Uh, you, the French uh, tech tree on the ground force stuff is actually pretty good, uh, Joe. They've got some pretty decent tanks. Copy that. Uh, 
firing all weapons. Well, that's it, guys. We can, folks, we can go home. We crit the MG. <laughs> Apparently, this Locust can take uh, multiple medium lasers and LRMs and AC fire and PPCs, and it, it's just running off. That's it. It's had enough. It's going home. There we go, folks. That's that. That's that done. Receiving you. You shitting me. Did I? Uh, I just want to click the head because they get really lucky. It'll be a headshot. If not, it'll just you know, hit, hit the panther in the usual good places. Yeah, AMX series are very good. I'd love to. I'd love to get the AMX 30 premium pack for the French Grand Forces because it just looks so cool. Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of uh, AMX 30 uh, premium tank prices. Hiring full complement on enemy. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, I, I think it's about... I think they just round up the prices. I think it's 50 euros as well. So it's like 50 dollars, 50 euros, 50 pounds. It's just the same everywhere. Even if the exchange rate is vastly different. And since it's a Russian company, they're just... I think they're just going to default it to euros. And so, yeah, if they decide a pack is going to be 50 euros, then it's $50 or 50 pounds, and that's how they do it. They don't give a shit. Look at this spider. That's some weird activity for a light mac. I think it's my go. No, not yet. No, I don't get a go yet. I know because it turns out they've got another Mac that's heavier than a light. Or something. They've got something out there that's got PPCs and an LRM. So they've probably got a fucking Griffin. Because that makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, let's just try melee attacking the Locust. Oh, I got his left leg. Bit of extra internal damage. Yes, Commander. And I, I guess the same with the Spooder since it decided to walk so close. And also got his leg. Okay. Sure, but okay. So there's Yeah, it's three max up. See that's saying twenty Fairly tons, hit, but Commander. that's n oh no, it could be the LRM five locust, that's true. Standing by brain just kicked in and realized that it's a different version. That was some great focus fire, it's just the pit was on the wrong side of the mech. They've got a sensor lock on me. Let's do this. Uh 
drop one of them, I guess. Engaging target. Inflicted some heavy damage. No, you didn't. You didn't inflict any heavy damage. You, all you did was you successfully spread damage everywhere. You spread it like so much butter. It did fuck all. It was it was embarrassing. The the amount of damage that you did was so ineffectual. How are the machine guns always in range for the AI? Damage minimal. I was wondering what the camera was doing then. Like, oh, he's jumping over there. Blanking. Ow. I'm gonna have to withdraw from this one, aren't I? I'm getting the impression I might, I might actually have to retreat from this fight as well. All weapons committed. Oh, oh wow! At least, at least it killed something. Aye, aye. Uh, ugh. it's pretty bad angles of attack. We'll for the spider or the locust, but I might be able to mess up the panther. And he is open everywhere. Oh, brilliant! The left torso. A critical yeah, hit. that panther will definitely know what hit. Oh, wait a minute! Now there's nothing in the fucking left torso. Turn him around enough, but no, it's not gonna work, is it? And one where it's like that, or one where it's like that. So I guess I'll have to go with that Roger one. Target confirmed. He must have had about two hit points left on his CT after the dragon hit it. Which means just RNG screaming in this one. Warning. Armor 
Oh yeah, I can attest to how bad the uh, 20 mil cannons are for the Japanese at low tier energy area. Then again, I've got one of their interceptors as well that's got uh, a 37 mil cannon that fires and almost immediately overheats and uh, causes it to have a really long cycle time, or the gun just jams instantly. Wow, I really got it in for my thunderbolt. The problem you have with the, Brit uh, the British lineup of planes is that for a long time they won't get any uh, cannons, they'll just be relying on machine guns. Although some of them will have a lot of machine guns. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Also, I was hoping the other leg would have got Reporting kicked off, but oh well. Head. Look at this little fucker. Tss. Good god. Receiving you. Spooder and Jenna. Jenna's probably a bigger threat. Stay with the head for it. Roger that. Reporting. Critical hit. I thought it was going to go hide fire its LRMs. Maybe it still is. Nope. Apparently not. Waiting for orders. Mostly just been a match of kicking them to death. Jesus, how big is his head? It just keeps getting whomped. Warning. Armor breach. Yeah, I know. I know. Warning. What? Enemy in rear arc. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's how most of your games is a big punch fest, yeah. 55 tons, yeah, so it's, um, it's a Shadowhawk, isn't it? Standing by. Moving out. Left arm, but not left torso destroyed. That's what I thought it was going to be. Light damage. Holding firm. Commander. No, I guess it's time to go on the offensive. Finally, gonna go overheat. Target neutralized.
No, I'd, I'd say bother with uh, missiles if you're taking a plane and ground force is realistic. Because some of the dive bombing you can do uh, firing missiles is pretty damn effective. Some of the American planes have ridiculous amounts of ground strike capability. Roger that. Inflicted some heavy damage. Griffin finally shows himself, huh? Yes, Commander. Oh, bombs are really good as well, but I think some missiles can be pretty good. I've had a few good kills with missiles in the past. Affirmative. They work really well against fast movers compared to bombs. Alright, two of them left. Shots are now working brilliant for me. In the beginning, it was just getting terrible rolls. And Good just a go. really bad spread of damage. Clearly the dice needs to warm up, yeah. Gonna get his uh, side torso with that. Aye, aye. Roger that. Key dokey. Roger that. Right. Target's taking a critical hit. I don't. Does he have any more weapons? That's it, Zellerim and uh, PPC yes, are locked. gone. Realistically, he should eject. Locked on. Well, tried to flee the field, but they never do. Oh yes, that's right, BFG. I didn't I didn't blow on the dice for good luck first, that's that's the problem. That's the mistake. I always make that mistake. Damn it. I have to remember to do that next time. I suppose they haven't come up with a game yet where you use a tablet and you roll dice on the screen and it reads them, you know, some stupid shit like some gimmicky crap. It's the next generation of board gaming. Take your uh, tabletop games to the next level. You're sick and tired of rolling boring old dice on a plain old table? Roll it on a tablet! 
With our new over-engineered electronic dice, the tablet will read what the die rolls. Can't I just read the face? The tablet will read what you roll. And it'll translate into the game. You'll see it on screen. Play with up to three friends. In competitive multiplayer. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Now also available in blue. Don't forget the DLCs. Oh yeah, well, uh, the, we have DLCs coming at the end of the fall of 2019. It's fun for all the family. Friends, what are these things? Uh, don't worry, Pincer. It's uh, it's just it's just lies. Twenty dollar skins and loot boxes. That's what we've come to expect. Is that a new one? Oh, it's just the uh, joint ventures rip. <laughs> Well, we we experienced the failure of joint venture originally now, didn't we? 1,700 mechs come stomping over the hill. Uh, right, uh, I'm, I'm going to leave it there for today. It's been about, yeah, right about two hours streaming. Um, next week I'm, I'm going to do a different game. Um, I've, I've bought a few games in the uh, recent Lunar New Year sale. As a part of our, uh, some birthday cash that uh, Kitty gave me. Uh, so I got a couple of new games. So I, I'll have a play around with them. See if they're stream worthy. And I'll, I'll pick one of them to do on a next Thursday morning. And uh, yeah. So tomorrow is Space Engineers. If you can join us tomorrow in the evening. If not, obviously it will be up on the YouTube channel. Uh, so hopefully that will go well. If it's if it's diabolical, if it's terrible, or just not fun uh, to watch a stream, obviously we uh, we probably will abandon Space Engineers. Uh, so yeah, uh, but the week after uh, next week, sorry, is uh, going to be MWO again, uh, and then we're going to go on to it, it'll either be Space Engineers continuing or be a different game. So yeah, we'll see how things go. But until then, thank you everyone for joining me today. It's been pretty cool. I had a good numbers all the way through. So thank you, uh, Adam Grayson. I've got Dupe Fruit, Average Joe, BFG. Uh, Balding Fat Kit, um, Cog Whistle, uh, Dragos, uh, ZTV, uh, Hayfron, are you there? Master15616, Politzai, Pincer of Fate, Local, VNK, Vigo Pros, and Von Grunk, thank you everybody for joining me today. I uh, hope you all have a good day and uh, a good weekend when it starts uh, tomorrow, if I don't see you. So yeah, thanks again. Bye!